Greetings, this is Gintheon, and today I am playing on the Realm of Vastin. My next project is going to be a large one, and I need to start off above me at the top of my castle, or what is currently the top of my castle. See, the way it works on this server is everyone is allowed a base of their own or home or whatever you wish to call it. And it has, outside of the base, a button that allows you to transport directly to an area in Port Bray. And that area is a merchant gathering area with the idea being that they either set up tents or wagons like you see here in order to transcope back and forth they go into the wagon they press the button they appear in the wagon at their base and they go about their business as if the wagon had traveled from place to place I decided to do it except I want to build a balloon and this is my basket for the top of the balloon bottom of the balloon if we look inside this is where the button will be that when you press will allow me to transfer back and forth from the two locations So let's go up and get to work. We've got a balloon to build. We are back and the first thing I did was gather resources and replace the roof here with yellow terracotta. And then I start working on building the basket. I don't know if I should call it a basket, but it's more like a small room. Lesson here is if you don't count correctly and take really specific observations of what it is you're building, you'll find yourself, you keep making mistakes, or at least I did, in the, figuring out exactly what the size of this is supposed to be. And sometimes, oh, there are phantoms. Okay. I don't know why it took me so long to, to get this right. But uh, it took several attempts. You can see where I keep undoing parts I'd already done and then redoing it. You just have to pay more attention to what you're doing in the first time around. That's a lesson for any time you build something. Otherwise, you lose track of where you're at or you lose track of what's going on around you. And then you can have other things that go wrong. Why do you why do I always have a full inventory? so disorganized but at this point I was rushing to go get my stuff so I rushing to come back up and collect my items that I just splattered everywhere and I bum rush the skeleton why didn't I grab a weapon of some kind don't know, just I was in a hurry. But that's the advantage of just running forward. Now I gather up all the stuff and we'll get back to building this. Now the top of this balloon I'm going to use a website to help me build out the pattern that it needs to be. 
I will put a link for it in the description. It's a pretty cool website. But the room down here, the basket, is something I designed myself on a test world. First thing I noticed was when I built it the first time, it wasn't fireproof. Once I added the flame on top of the netherrack and then let it sit for just a moment or two, I ended up burning down half my st structure because all of these, instead of being made out of stone, was made out of wood. And fence posts catch fire. Fire tick is turned off on this server, I believe. But that doesn't mean that sometime in the future it couldn't be turned on temporarily or any number of things. And what I don't want to happen is someone turns on fire tick and my balloon burns itself to the ground. So I went back and redesigned it. Wood slabs became sandstone slabs. Fence posts became iron bars, etc. So now it's fireproof, and I don't have to worry about my balloon burning down at some point. The basket and all the connections to the upper part of the balloon and the pattern on the balloon itself is my own creation. The only thing I needed help on was the placement of the blocks to produce the balloon shape. And I used the rest of the blueprint as a guide for everything else I made, designed. I really like the way this turned out. You can see the netherrack will hold the flame and the iron bars will serve as the sturdy connection to the balloon. This layer up here was going to be iron blocks, but I don't have the iron blocks to throw away, so I used furnaces. I provided the interesting design and I like the way it looked. But this is the way the basket ended up being and I like the way it ended up. Now as I'm working on building upward, I also have to build outward. The edges have these weights that connect to the part of the balloon and at the bottom of each of these weights are a light which I thought was fitting to use a red jack-o-lantern. All of the benefits of a sea lantern without all the difficulty. And then I can go back to building upward. At this point I simply ran out of resources. And so I asked Robbie for a bucket of water. And I attempted to jump down. And I succeeded. I actually succeeded in jumping down and not getting myself killed. Let's see that again. There it is. You pour the bucket down below you by essentially spam clicking the ground with the bucket. And the water appears. And then you land in the water, take no damage, and you pick the water back up. Let's see it again, but in slow motion. You gotta realize, Warlock Robbie didn't expect me to survive. Now let's get back to building. I'll go gather resources and get back to work. And we are back. I have gone down and gathered some more resources. Actually, I previously gathered all of the resources to build this balloon twice. They're just sitting in the shulker boxes that are underneath the balloon on the roof of the castle. So I just had to go down there, get them, and then climb all the way back up here. But now that that's done, I say we get back to work. So back to the time lapse. Now you can see from night and day that this is, I think it was sped up 28 times before I put it into the editor and then increased it by another thousand percent. 
So this took a while. I also made some mistakes and had to rebuild parts of it. But I do like the way that it turned out. We finish off the balloon and now I have to update and put G's, big letter G on the side of each side of the balloon. And we're done. Let me show you how this works. We come into the cabin of the balloon and you press the button. Once that's done, you find yourself at the other location. Now I have to build this balloon at this location so that I can maintain the illusion of travel. The more I think about it, the more I decide that I want to name the basket or refer to the basket as the cabin. I think that's the word I've been looking for up to now. But we have managed to build it and we're done. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Now I'm real curious if anyone actually waits and listens through the 20 seconds of the end screen. If you do, please leave a comment that includes the word end.